What's going on everyone? You're watching the Iron Gordon channel. Thank you for being here today. I'm going to show you how to take this perfectly good skateboard and turn it into a little cruiser board. I'm also providing a downloadable template in the description below. Make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video so you know exactly how to use it. Okay, so first up, some of the tools we're going to use in the video, I use a jigsaw. It's not the only option available, but it's the one I use. Second, I use an orbital sander. You could reshape some of this by hand with sandpaper, but the orbital makes it easier. And then finally, a drill gun. That's going to help attach our skateboard to our work surface. If you don't have these tools, I'll link them in the description below. All right, let's get into the project. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is identify where the nose of the skateboard is. And on most modern skateboards, the nose is going to be a little bit longer and a little bit taller than the tail is. Just like you can see here, the nose is about a quarter inch taller than our tail was. So I'm going to mark this with an N so we can move on to our next step. Okay, so here is the printable PDF I've linked in the description below. It is a template for the nose and also a template for the tail of the skateboard. Now I'm going to show you two different methods on how to transfer this line over to your skateboard deck. Starting with the nose template, on the back side of the paper you're going to take a pencil and you're going to scribble all along the curved line. Once that's done, flip the paper back over. Now I use the pencil and I stab that through the paper and through the existing hole that's already in the skateboard and that's going to help us line up the template on the skateboard. A quick little trick, if you run the skateboard bolts through the holes and the paper, it's going to pin everything down for you nice and solid so that we can move on to the next step. Now grabbing a ballpoint pin and with medium pressure we're going to trace all along that curved line and what that's going to do is transfer all that graphite that we just scribbled on the back side of the paper onto the skateboard deck itself. And if you did it right, should look something like this. Moving on to the tail, here's method number two on how to transfer this line to the skateboard. You're going to need to grab a razor blade and cut away all the excess paper, cutting your template to shape. And using the same method that we used on the nose, you're going to grab the bolts and you're going to run those through the registration marks on the paper to help align the template to the board. Once you have this template where you like it, go ahead and grab some spray paint. A little goes a long way in this case. You don't need full coverage. You're just going to do one or two passes just to give yourself a visual marker of where your cut line is. Let that dry for a couple minutes and there you go. You got two methods on how to transfer your line over to the board. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which is cutting this thing up. I like to use a 2x4 to prop the skateboard up so that the blade has plenty of room to travel underneath it. All you have to do is lay down a 2x4 then put the skateboard on top of that then using the existing holes in the skateboard run a screw all the way through the skateboard, the 2x4 and into the surface you're working on and that's going to give you a nice solid mount so that you can run this all on top of everything. If you're not comfortable using power tools, you could probably do this by hand with a handsaw. It's just going to take you forever and not give you nearly as clean as a cut as a jigsaw would. If this kind of work interests you though, the jigsaw is a good beginner level saw to start learning on. I'll link one in the description below. They're pretty inexpensive and as far as power tools go, they're pretty safe. Mostly safe. Mmm, safe enough. Now that we've shaped our nose and our tail, we're going to move on to the next step, which is sanding. I'm using 120 grit on an orbital sander. And the key is here, we're going to use the sander to recreate the roundover edge that's on the rest of the board. If you have a router with a roundover bit, you would use this here instead of the sander. I just figured that orbital sander was a more obtainable tool for most people than a router would have been. It's important here that you sand with a rocking motion going from the top of the board to the bottom of the board created that round over effect. You just keep repeating this pattern until all the edges are nice and smooth and they start to blend in with the sides of the skateboard. We're basically done with this board now. You can see how dramatically we changed the shape of it. It still has a little bit of a nose and a little bit of a tail, but just enough to get it some leverage. The idea of this board is not to do extreme tricks. It's more of a ripper. It's more something to kick around campus on, bomb a hill with. If you're going to run longboard wheels on this, I would definitely recommend getting some half inch risers as you can see that I did here because you don't want to get any wheel bite. That is the worst thing to do when you're at speed and you're trying to make a turn and you get wheel bite. Before you put the wheels and trucks on, now is the perfect time to get creative with some spray paint or markers or whatever it is you have and really just make it your own like I did here or here, here or here. Hopefully you guys learned something today. Don't forget to check out that free download link that I put in the description below. I also put a list of tools and supplies in the description below. If you want to help out the channel, purchase something from Amazon using one of those links. It really helps me out. If you have any questions that you think I didn't answer in the video, let me know in the comments below. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I'll try better next time.